track two is called Garden Lights. When I set out to make this track, I wanted to create a feeling of a natural phenomenon that I witnessed when I was driving. I thought to myself, what would Northern Lights sound like? I saw you in Northern Lights. I take it all in my stride. It feels as if I designed it. I wish I could tell you. And Northern Lights comes from a series of layering of synths and unique filters. Let's take a look at how I use low pass and other equalizers to create the sounds that you hear in Northern Lights. So Northern Lights is known for its synths, primarily because the synths sound like the Northern Lights. And these four tracks here in green, these are the sounds that make up the main melody. So we'll listen to those. Okay, and so we have that flute on top and we have the bass line down low, but if we mute those, then we have this melody here in the middle. And this is the key. These, this is the Northern Lights sound, in my opinion, and I'm gonna show you guys how to create this sound. So it has both a high version and a low version. What I mean by that is that this sample right here was equalized to have a higher pitch um, or high, only to be those higher frequencies in the spectrum listen to this and then we have a normal version which has been equalized itself but kind of to contain the rest of the spectrum So you heard those, I'm going to show you how to make them and the reason I do this is it kind of gives this feeling of euphoria when you add this extra high, uh, high pass version of the sound of the synth, it kind of makes it just seem euphoric and if you've seen Northern Lights you know that they are a beautiful phenomenon and that that euphoria is something you feel when you see them so I wanted to capture that sound. So we have up here just a normal sample unequalized and we have the melody so these are the same sounds and first I'm going to show you how to convert this to that high uh, that high sound so here we go sounds normal so what you're going to do is you're going to pop open your mix and then here up in the synth sample section you're going to add a insert and you're going to add a seven band equalizer so a little tip and trick I use seven band equalizers on every one of my tracks. It's my trade secret. I just think, you know, it helps clean your mixes up and it really comes in handy when you're trying to separate sounds and sound unique itself. So what I did here is I usually will bring up a high pass filter and then, you know, raise it to a certain amount and then also include a low pass filter and just kind of isolate the sounds here in the middle that are not too high but definitely not low so once I have that you'll be able to hear it how it's changed awesome so that high end is all set but now we have to do the other end and so this is how I would normally equalize a instrument track that is just going to be the main melody is I'll first pull up again my 7 band, I'll add a high pass and a low pass filter, but this time I'll just bring up the low end past the point of the kick in the bass. And I'll also, you know, um, rule of thumb, I never try to increase the gain with equalizers, that's not why I'm adding them. If I wanted to do that, I would just simply increase the volume. I'm just trying to limit and soften the sound so that they're easy on the ears and also clean. That's the sound that I'm looking for. I'm looking for something clean and soft. And so now if we play these two together, we get the sound you hear in Northern Lights. So that's how you use equalizers. 
you're really using filters because you're filtering out the low ends and the high ends of some of the sounds and the synth and together you create this euphoria so encourage you guys to try that out in your own mixes and clean up your mixes with these techniques the main takeaway from northern lights is to play around with equalizers i put one on every single one of my tracks it'll take your already beautiful original sound and make it seem even more different more atmospheric have more of a presence and give the listener a greater experience. I've got something on my mind. Time really ain't on my side. I know you deserve to know why. I saw you. Hey guys, it's Alex. Thanks for watching and make sure to go listen to Viking from Ike Music on Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Welcome to Ike. And please, please, please send us an email to welcome to Ike at gmail.com with your suggestions or thoughts. We want to make a lot more videos. We'd be happy to listen to you guys. So subscribe today and thanks again.